have been found guilty on 1,533 counts of minor larceny, 372 counts of fraud, 87 counts of bank fraud, 55 counts of bond forgery, 17 frauds of type for which we are still trying to find a name for the crime, the collapse of the cabbage growers' bank, and one count of improper use of boot polish on a horse. Hang him! Hang him! You are, therefore, sentenced to die by hanging. Do you have anything to say? Hanging? For a few little cons? The roll of two was crimes. Well, maybe the horse, but... Mr. Spangler, when a bank collapses, it is not the bank that you starve. In a thousand small ways, your crimes affect the lives of the ordinary citizen. You deprive them of their livelihoods, and on some occasions, their lives. My clerks tell me your crime is the equivalent of 2.7 murders. However, one hanging will seem to be a relatively light punishment. Mr. Trooper, please do your duty. Any last words, Mr. Spangler? Uh, I wasn't expecting to die. Good choice, we'll go with that. Ah! A short while later came Lord Betanari's private office. <gasps> oh. Ah, Mr. Whitney, welcome back. I'd like to speak to you about angels. No, if you can spare me the time. Well, uh, well I don't want you to be hanging around. <laughs> now, from your point of view, Mr. Whitney, the important thing to know is a man only ever gets one angel. And in this case, your angel brings you a job offer. You can walk out the front door and reopen the Hank Morphle Post Office. If I refuse? <laughs> well, then of course you may still leave uh, the way you came in. In a coffin? Ah, yes, I see you accept. Excellent. Your probation officer will meet you at the post office. That's an arrow a fool if he thought I'd walk into a life of servitude. Within an hour I had a fast horse. Within a day I was in a safe village no one had ever heard of, a hundred miles away. How could I know that my probation, probation officer was a goal? He never stops to sleep or rest and could follow my karmic signature anywhere on the disc. Your safety, Mr. Lipwick. I am concerned. <laughs> That evening, at Le Foie Herbeur, Hank Morpork's most exclusive restaurant, dinner is served. Laura, I have to 
conversant with to them. My crimes, such as they were, are the ones that are responsible for the collapse of the bank and eventually, probably, for your father's death. You are a complete bastard! Runs to the post office, where he discovers that Stanley is still trapped inside. I've got to save him! I've got to get in there! Uh, no, 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 you can't do it! It's dangerous! Moist disappears into the post office. Inside, he encounters Grial, the banshee, on a mission to kill him. Grial gloats about all the other people he has killed for Rita Guilt, but the power of the post office cannot be so easily defeated, and Grial is consumed by the flames. Stanley, Stanley, are you okay? Yeah, yes, sir. Thank you for saving me and my kids. That's all right. You think you can beat the clacks? This is war. War? I don't know anything about winning a war. I don't know how to win a bet. I challenge the clacks to a bet that he can't refuse. My life against his company. Gil thinks he's going to get a race. Well, it's a race that I'm going to win one way or another. The clacks might be able to get a message through. But I can choose the message. And the message I'm going to choose is one that they won't want everyone to hear. Now, all I have to do is work out how to get something to slow them down. And then hack into the clacks and get my message in. And, oh, how? At high noon the following day, the race begins. While Gilt's employees translate the book into Clack's code, Moist dashes to the abandoned Clack's tower, where a door introduces him to the Smoking Canoe, a team of retired Clack's engineers who now exist as crackers working the system for their own ends. If you lock the light, Thank you.
fantastic. Um, uh, and also, just generally, this, this obviously is the first Dutch convention. We, many of us, are, uh, uh, are, are really, I've uh, been to many, many a convention. Um, and this has been lovely. It's been a fantastic little uh, gathering and get together. We had a really good time so, to, to the committee and uh, to everybody who's been involved. Uh, thank you ever so much. Uh, we've, we've really had a lovely time so far. We'll see you in two years, yeah? Thank <laughs> <laughs> you.